multi-grand slam champion, John McEnroe, the legend himself. Mate, this is going to be good. Hey, you can today. go through each one if you want. We yeah, have a few. I don't have time. We just want to get on with this match. Five-minute warm-up. Let's get on with this match. Put some nice pressure on his opponent. What about you? Did you like to serve first or return? I gotta serve first. I ain't gonna serve all you gotta serve first. Winner after all those power shots. Fantastic. Oh, he's hit that right over low part of the net from Ace. Oh, he is well across the net. What a great volley winner. All right, Mac, what's the advantage of a good approach shot? Well, you get your opponent off guard perhaps off balance, and your momentum is moving for you, you're feeling like you've hit a confident shot. There's different ways to hit a good approach shot. You can chip and charge and try to use depth. You could also use an angle, or you can out use out and out power. All three of those can give you a, a good approach shot. Oh, he's nipped that back in. Disappointing. in a row while under pressure. Great, uh, great effort. Okay, the player is looking for a strong service game here to consolidate the break and really take control of this match. That's the place to be on top of the net, smashing the ball away. Get over the net with that slice. Good tactic would be to actually hit to the straight. 
strength, knowing that he's going to leave, then leave the whole court of allegiance to go into it. Exactly. Every match I started, I would start at an opponent's strength to see what he had to offer. And I knew that the option was there to go to a weakness. when your confidence is not quite there and you, you get there and you have the smack to put it away and you don't. Well, oh, I'll tell you what, that's a real kick in the teeth. and cons are hitting your shots deep. The pros are you give your man less time to come up with a pass and less confidence that he'll be able to do something with it. The cons, none. tactics and then crack the winner. So hitting ball straight up and down to your opponent, why should you hit the ball to the side? It's easier to hit the ball standing there when you know it's coming than it is when you're on the full run. So you got to test an opponent right away to see what he's capable of hitting the ball on the run. And secondly, what type of fitness level he has. Because let's face it, as the match progresses and you start wearing down, it's tougher to come up with those running passing shots.